Hi, it's Patsy. So I wanted to pop on today and talk a little bit about hug decks. Um, sometimes I think we have difficult periods of time where um, a hug deck comes in really useful. Um, and this is one of those weeks for me. Um, it really starts at the end of February, but it goes up to um, the end of the first week of March. Uh, today is the anniversary of my dad's passing. Um, and the days leading up to that, um, from the time he was hospitalised a few days before the third, and we was told that we was going to lose him, um, it makes it a difficult time now, um, as well as at that time. Um, it's very difficult not to go back and relive how you was feeling um, those days when you were sat there and the last, the way you were feeling and the last time that you saw him and, the, and all those things, all those things go around in your head when there's an anniversary and it's very difficult um, day to day without these um, memories intruding upon you and even though you try to remember the good times and you, re you remember them, mem happy memories and you know, you still get those sneaky bad bits keep creeping in. So that's, you know, um, for all of us who've lost people, you know, we I think we all go through these stages. Um, and it's also um, the week that my brother, my older brother, um, would have had a birthday. He was a year older than me, 14 months to be exact. And he would have had a birthday March the 6th. So we lost Dad March the 3rd, and it would be my brother's birthday March the 6th if he was still with us. Um, but he passed in a car accident in 1991. So even though it's a while ago, um, when you love somebody like that, somebody close to you who is in your heart, it's very difficult that even time doesn't really um, eradicate those those memories and how you felt at that time, even all these years later. So this week, as a week in September, is, is another bad time for me. But for this week of March, it's a particularly bad week, a particularly bad week. Um, so when I get like this, I, I tend to go for decks that I call hook decks, decks that um, are, are one of those decks that give you um, give you the message that you need. They're not soft in any way or um, don't give you a proper reading. It's just that they they're gentle. The the images are gentle. The energy around them is gentle. So I wanted to share with you my hug decks, what I use at times like this, and I'm going to make it into a hashtag because I'd love to hear other people's hug decks, what they use when they're feeling um, down or um, are going through a bad period um, because of anniversaries or, or whatever reason, but whatever reason you use these hug decks. And the first one what I always reach for at these, this time of, is my um, Tower of the Hidden Realms. Uh, this is one of my favourite decks anyway. Um, and I just get so much comfort from this this deck. And this is the one that I've reached for the last couple of days. And it's the one I've reached for again today. And, and I'm sure for this week, coming week, this is going to be one that I'm going to be pulling all the time. Because it delivers its message. It's not soft. It gives you it where you need it. But it, the images do it in such a beautiful way um, that I, it, it, it just delivers a message in a, a nice, gentle, soft way. I mean, look at the image of that card. That is gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, this is one that I will reach for all the time when I'm having a bad week, whether that's like this week with the anniversaries and everything, or whether I'm just having a bad time with my anxieties and depression which I still suffer from, not as much as I used to, but it's still it's still there on, on occasions. So this is the first deck that I always go for. I, I just There's just something about the energy of this deck I just absolutely adore. And I don't just use it at times when I need a hug. I use this constantly. Um, but this time of year, especially um, when I'm going through difficult moments in my life, this one is always there to comfort um, and give me a bit of a hug. So the next one is my Joy de Vive. It's getting a bit battered now, the box. I could really get under the bag for this one. Um, and again, for the same reasons, 
you can't not look at these images and have a smile even when you're feeling down and a bit fed up with life or when you are you know a bit emotional but it doesn't give a soft message it, it gives you what you need to hear um it's just that the images help help you um to take the message and sometimes i'll get completely different messages from this deck than are with others but that's because i think that i read these more as an intuitive deck um and i don't usually use this for anybody else it's just my deck so it's my personal relationship with this deck that i get my messages through through it and again like i said i just love this deck and i do use it when I'm not feeling, you know, vulnerable or upset, I'll still pull it for other reasons. Um, but times like this, this is one that I definitely reach out for. It's definitely my my deck that gives me a hug. It's my friend. This one and the Tower of the Hidden Realm. They feel like friends. Um, and I just love them. So that is the Joy de Vivre, or how I pronounce it. I know a lot of people pronounce it differently. And then the two um, oracles that I'll pull um, when I'm feeling this way is well, the first one is the Angels and Ancestors by Carl Gray. Um, and again, it's the images of this deck. Um, it's just, and um, it's just lovely images, and the cardstock is gorgeous, um, and the messages are always spot on for me they're always you know very um on point very on point these these decks again i don't just use it um at this time but it is one that i reach for the time when i am i am feeling this way um and it delivers such lovely messages um and the, the book is written really well so if you want to read what the book says um then I think the the messages in the books are really books really lovely as well. So yeah, so this one, the Carl Gray Angels and I love it. about that as usual when I'm on the um, recording, my phone goes. Um, so yeah, so like I say, that's three of my hug decks, and the last one that I use is the Pixiekins. Um, I use this one with the Joy de Vivre, um, and again, this is just a, a sweet little little deck that um just delivers you a sweet little message um doesn't give no thought to it or anything you'd or you don't have to give it no thought do you know what i mean like this one it says stand up for what you believe in and never let others steal your joy you are the creative force that shapes your reality so it's just you know hold close to your sense of wonder it's just simple little messages like that with gorgeous images to get lost in and it looks beautiful against the uh, Joy de Vivre and the Paulina as well but I tend to use the Joy de Vivre more than the Paulina um, but again it's just one of them decks that give, make me smile when I'm feeling a bit low um, it's just a gorgeous gorgeous artwork Paulina Cassidy I, I love Paulina Cassidy's work so this is one that I'll read for when I just want a quick little message from an oracle. Or if I'm doing myself a spread with the Joy de Vivre um, and I want to finish it with an oracle, then I'll pull these just to get a message from the oracle. But again, a gorgeous little deck that I absolutely adore. And it gives me a, a hug. It makes me feel good when I'm, I'm reading with it. So that is my four decks that I use when I need a hug, the Pixie Kins, and the Angels and Ancestors is the two oracles, and the um, Tarot is my Joy de Vivre, and my Tower of the Hidden Realms. Um, I, love, I love all of them, and these two decks are my top two decks anyway, but especially at times like this. So I hope that some of you will take part in the hashtag and share your hug decks um, because I'd love to see what people um, are using, you know, um, and because it's going to be a difficult week for me, it'll be something for me to get lost myself into a little bit. So thanks for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.